Have you ever wondered how to straighten your horizon in your images when they're crooked? Well, I have the answer. Two in fact, and I'm going to share that with you right now. So if you're ready, let's do it. So here's the image I'm going to be working on and I didn't spend enough time when I shot this to get the horizon straight in camera. So now I need to fix it. And like I mentioned, there's two different ways to do it. I'll show you both and then you can decide which one is best for you. So the first thing I want to do, regardless of the tool that I use, is create a guide to use as, well, a guide for the horizon. So I'm going to click right here at the top ruler and drag down my guide to right about there. All right, so the first option for straightening your images is to use the rotate tool, which you can grab from your toolbar right here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift plus R. If you use the keyboard shortcut, it will automatically activate the tool. If you grab it from the toolbar, you need to activate the tool by clicking on your image. You can then rotate your image with this angle slider right here, or what I prefer doing is using my mouse. I can click on the outside and then drag it into position until the horizon aligns with the guide. So that looks pretty good right there. Now we have a problem here. We have part of the image on the outside of the canvas and we have some transparency on three different or actually four different sides. So what I need to do first is I need to crop this inside of the canvas. So if we come over here to the tool options, right here next to clipping, we have an option called adjust. We want to click right here to select one of these three different options. If I click on clip, it's going to remove the image on the outside of the canvas, but the edges are still not straight on the edges here. It comes in at an angle. So what I want to do is select crop to result or crop with aspect. The first one will crop it so that the image fills up the frame as much as possible, but it changes the aspect ratio of the image. If you come up here and select crop with aspect, it will crop the image inside the canvas at the same aspect ratio that you shot it at. Now, what it did is it cropped the image at the bottom. Now, if it changes the composition to a point where it's cropping out important information, there isn't a way to readjust it within this. So you're better off going with crop to result and then cropping the image to the aspect ratio that you want, if you want to change it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it with crop with aspect. And then when I click rotate, the image will be cropped, but we're still left with that transparency. So I now need to come up to image and select crop to content. And now that transparency is gone. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use command or control plus the letter Z a couple times here to get back to our crooked image here. I need to add my guide again. And the second option for rotating your images to fix crooked horizons is going up to tools, transform tools, and selecting unified transform. So with this tool, you can click on the outside as well to rotate the image. Now what I want to do is I want to increase the size of the image so it fills in the entire canvas and gets rid of that transparency. I can click on a side here and drag out to the right and then this one to the left to fill it in and then hit your transform button or enter or return and boom we have a straight horizon. Now check this out. This is what I love about this tool. I can now grab my move tool with the letter M and move it around in case I want to reposition it. Now I don't have a lot of room because if I go too far to the right here, we can see there's transparency, but I do have a little bit of wiggle room to adjust the image as needed. All right, check out that video right there to the left. That's what I want you to watch next because there's a lot of cool pro tips on editing your images in GIMP. And I think you're going to love that playlist. So check it out. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.